suspected undocumented workers were detained. And tonight, there is a dispute about the children those workers had to leave behind. Here's ABC's David Muir. Hundreds of immigration officers raced into this New Bedford, Massachusetts factory, arresting the company's owner and rounding up more than 300 suspected illegal immigrants. I never seen in my life, I never experienced something like this. There was panic as workers tried to flee. They're now being held at a former military base as deportation proceedings begin. People were just... Today, there is outrage. Advocates asking, what about the children whose parents never came home? Carlos Miranda says his wife is being held. They have a nine-month-old baby who is nursing. He told us, my baby is suffering very much. She was looking for her mother everywhere. Then there's Orvilio Ayala, an uncle now caring for three nieces and nephews, all of whom had at least one parent detained. We need help to get the mothers of these children out who are abandoned, he told us. After the raid, the Department of Homeland Security now says it is unaware of any children left in what it calls inappropriate settings. But today, Massachusetts governor sent this letter to Congress saying he's concerned that many of the illegal workers might be too afraid to admit they have children here. A similar scene played out in December in Greeley, Colorado, where a meatpacking plant was raided. More than 200 workers were detained. Many were parents, all part of a stepped-up federal effort to round up illegal workers. Is it possible to crack down on illegal workers without their children suffering? Uh, no, it is not possible. You can't justify what is going to happen to some of the innocent bystanders in, in, in this event, in, in this case, uh, the children. Children, some of whom are still waiting for their parents tonight, as law enforcement tries to crack down on illegal workers. David Muir, ABC News, New York.